Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I made something. I made something. I'm not I'm not sure how it's going to end up working out, but I don't know. I think it's going to be fine. Um, so I made this counter right here. This is a simplified version of the original counter. It's exactly the same. Um, the only difference is, is we're doing this each signal. Um, the each time negative one, that's going to come in when this guy grabs something off. And we have our counter right here, each plus zero, output each. Uh, exactly the same thing, except we're using the each signal. Um, this will allow us to use the same counter for, like in this case, we have a petroleum as well as lubricant, and we're using the exact same counter to um, to keep track of both of those. Um, well, it works out pretty well. Um, another little modification uh, to the system is we're not doing with the P signals, we're just doing the raw ones. Uh, we have a green wire coming out that goes out to the belt and we have a red wire coming off of this negative one multiplier arithmetic combinator that is going out and then going on to the bus so as we take stuff off we're going to send that signal off we're also going to use it to decrement the counter um, the green is the local signal um, this is controlling how much is on this line right here how much is being fed in off of the bus um, that goes to a um, to a, a, a wire on the belt that's uh, reading the belt contents, so that's doing our counting, and it's enabled when, in this case, the petroleum gas barrels are less than 50. Um, there's also this one that is disabled uh, whenever the petroleum gas barrels are less than 49, or less than 50, I guess. Um, so that makes it to where this puts a break on the bus, and we are not going to let anything go forward until this line has its 50 barrels. That's the idea. So the green is just the local, uh, keeping track of this line, uh, just like we did down here in the mall, just, just a little bit differently. And the red signal is passing on into the bus. We're going to send that red signal down to our barrel manager, which is going to maintain that for us. Uh, so we have the same thing going on here with uh, lubricant and petroleum. I'm going to little places that are controlling that. And the uh, petroleum and water up here, we're doing the same thing there. And also, we've done the same in the mall. It's uh, just a little bit more crazy. Uh, but yeah, I, I basically moved it from managing that here, because we had that wasted space. I actually moved it onto the bus, so we're not taking anything off the bus unless we absolutely need it. Um, I wanted to stop here by the mall and grab some assembly machines. Yeah, maybe like half of them. And can we make these yet? I thought we could. Yes, we can. Well, let's go and turn that on. So we can get those being made. Actually, they're not, probably not going to be made because we're going to be out of uh, out of the things they need to make them. But uh, all right, so uh, the red signal, the negative signal that that is coming just off of those inserters, is coming all the way down here, and we're sending it all the way down here, where we're going to do something with it eventually. But I think first, what I need to do is redesign all this. So we're going to just remove it all. And uh, we're going to redo the way that this is done. And it looks like the robots from the factory are going to want to do this. And they're going to take forever. So we'll just help it along a little bit. Might as well. I bet we can probably get it all cleared out by the time they are done. Oh, nope, here they come. They're going to start grabbing some stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. That's very helpful. Okay, let's get all that out of the way. And uh, let's take a look at what we're going to end up doing here. Um, let's see. Let's rerun this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have coming in here are empty barrels. And I want to split those up amongst some factories that are going to be um, dealing with some of these. Okay, so the first one here is going to be petroleum. Um, let's take this up. 
take it this way. Uh, let's run that through a... A one to three splitter. Uh, maybe not that close. And that's okay that that's red. And we'll have empty barrels come down. Uh, you are going to be filling petroleum barrels. Then you'll spit out barrels on this side. Okay, and we'll somehow have to get petroleum in there. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. All right, let's uh, let's let's copy this setup right here. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna do it three more times. Uh, you are gonna be the next thing, which should be lubricant, I believe. And you are finally going to be water. Okay, so empty barrels come in on the top and the full barrels come in here on the bottom. All right, then we just need to get all of these guys hooked up. Let's see, that would get water. And petroleum and uh, then we just need lubricant and I took out the lubricant plant let's uh, put it back <laughs> uh, did I have a pump there I don't remember let's uh, let's put one there anyway uh, lubricant and uh, let's see that'll work for it all right empty barrels split out go in like this okay I want to set up I want to set up some buffers here, and I actually want those to be requester chests. Something like that right there. Uh, 
Sorry, just uh, just thinking this through. <laughs> just thinking it through. All right, because basically what I want to happen is I want to buffer all of our barrels right here. I don't want to buffer them up on the bus like we had before. Um, so it's these inserters right here that I want to... Um, I want controlling what goes out on the line. So these are the ones that are going to be tied into the counter. They empty barrels come in here. They split evenly, blah, blah, blah. They come out like that. Uh, we want this to... Okay, you're going to be petroleum. You're going to be lubricant. And you are going to be water. And we want to set this up to the max, which should be 480. Oh, 480. And 480. Okay, so those will request in things. I, I took all the uh, fluids off the line and put them right here. So those are those are right there now. Um, okay, so we want those full. And I want a green wire running from this chest. To there, to there. I want all those connected. Set to read content, uh, read contents, read contents, read contents. Okay, and I only want this enabled when uh, water is less than let's say half 240 so these machines are only going to bottle water whenever we have less than 240 in this chest right here um, same for you uh, except for lubricant less than 240 And same for you. Petroleum less than 240. All right. So if there's if these chests are full, then these guys are going to actually stop bottling things. All right, um, that I think makes sense to me. Okay, so we have our negative counters coming in here. We need some, uh, we need an arithmetic combinator right here. Uh, we're also going to need put a large power pole here and uh, one right there move this over so it lines up better all right so all of our negative signals coming from the world are going to come in right here and we're going to hook up those um just going to read the hand contents Going to read the hand contents. Read the hand contents. That is going to control what comes out on the line. And you should be set to a counter input uh, each plus zero output each. You're reading the hand contents and you're pulsing, so you are actually adding 
that should go into that. And it does. And we want to enable you when, let's see, this is petroleum less than, Two hundred, three hundred. This is the amount of barrels that we want on the line. Um, lubricant less than three hundred. Water less than. Say water less than one hundred. Lubricant less than two hundred. Uh, we're just throwing some numbers out there. Just to uh, just to let that go. All right, so let's see. We need to get a RoboPort over here to get that into RoboPort range. Um, we're gonna need power. Okay, those are bringing in lubricant barrels. Um, you are missing power. Your logic should be the same. Yes, you should be pumping when it's greater than 10k. It's 17k. Um, you're not pumping because you can't, because it's full, because we are full on petroleum. All right, kind of nervous. <laughs> kind of nervous to see this start. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's set up our. Uh, we're gonna need some empty barrel, uh, an empty barrel merger here for all of our empty barrels that we currently have. Um, we can do a requester chest, and uh, we'll do a. It's just a stack inserter. That'll be fine. And uh, we want to request, uh, let's go ahead and request 500 empty barrels. Can't request 500, let's request 400. Um, let's see, do we have any, we do have passive provider chests. Let's set these up as passive providers just to fill up our buffers. Are those full? They're full. Excellent. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, here is a moment of truth. We're going to turn this on, and we're just going to see what happens. Okay, things are being put on the line. It should go up to a, a hundred or so, and then it should stop. Okay, let's go ahead and set our empty barrel ones as passive providers since um, all these are turned off because of the logic. Okay, water has stopped because we're at 100. Lubricant should stop here shortly because it's at 200. And uh, petroleum is going to go on to 300. Excellent. All right, so let's go take a look. At what we have out here, I don't, like we got a ways until that that starts working, but let's just see. We are getting empty barrels here. They're starting to back up. Um, they are not going anywhere because all of these guys are disabled because all of our buffers are full. 
Uh, we have 300, 200, 100 guys on the line here. All right, let's uh, go up here to the first stop. It should be getting very close. And let's see how this works. Okay, this is this is blocked, so petroleum can't go on until we move past this. We should be able to watch this power pole. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay, we're starting to get lubricant up to fifty, and then that stops, and um, those go on. Excellent. Um, lubricants at 50, so that is stopped off, and it continues on. Then, as petroleum gets pulled off of this guy, that should come down here and set this one off. Um, let's go to map view so we can see that here real quick. Ah, yeah, there it goes. Hehehe. <laughs> So as this petroleum was getting used, we're sending it a signal to go ahead and put more on the line. And uh, we're just using our buffered stuff right now, but um, as this fills up, Like you're working, you're stopping, sending them on. You've got yours. You are loading them. We are loading them on. Okay. Okay, here comes some more. That is, that is good. That is good. That is looking like it is working. It's just a matter of getting, getting the contents. We may need to update this all to Red Belt. That is something that's probably going to have to happen. But um, this does, this does a couple of things. We still have a lot of lubricant here. So we're not going to make any more lubricant until we've gone through all that. We're not going to make any more water until we've gone through all of that. And uh, so all majority of these empty barrels coming in should go directly into making making petroleum. And that's actually starting to line up or um, go up a little bit. Uh, let's switch these over to stacks. All right, we may have to control a little bit um, what buffer size we actually want on the line in order to make that make that make that happier. But ratio wise, I think we're actually looking pretty good. I mean, let's 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 just check them all here. Let's see if it's got a stock of well, not quite a stock, but it does have some petroleum getting to it. You have barrels moving up the line. Um, yeah, like you're you're out of petroleum. And you guys are out of petroleum and lubricant is backed up here. Alright, so I want to design something that, you know, once something gets to the end, it, it comes back. Um, kind of a, a sorting facility, if you will, um, so that uh, 
it, it recycles, basically. Once it gets to the line, we just kind of turn it around and send it back. To, to send it back through the system. And uh, I think what we need to do is probably just increase the buffer a little bit on petroleum. So we get a little bit more of that going on the line. Um, I didn't look to see... It looked like lubricant was okay. How is water doing? I ran this bus line. I was going to I was thinking about moving the fluid bus over here. Uh, I didn't realize how far these wires would stretch. <laughs> so uh after I got that all done, it was it was completely not needed. Okay, we've actually got um we've actually got a good buffer there. We've got a good buffer on the lubricant. It's just we probably need to just increase the petroleum buffer and actually we do have a little bit of a buffer here. Excellent. All right, well, I'm going to run this a little bit and kind of kind of see how it works out. Um, so a lot of these things look like they're working good, but they may not work very well over time. And uh, we'll see how this works out and um, see if there are any changes that we actually need to make to it. Let's go ahead and bump up this to... 400 and get an extra 400 out there the water bottles coming out every now and then it's awesome <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.